Hello and welcome to this short talk about digital signatures and successful SharePoint projects. I'll be speaking about Office 365 and also SharePoint on-prem. My name is Larry Kluger. I'm a marketing manager here at Cosign. Digital signatures are the open standard for eliminating paper, speeding business processes, and saving money. I like the picture of this young boy because he's not only going fast, but he's clearly having a good time while doing it. In the same way, it's much more pleasant to use digital signatures to sign a document than the old-fashioned way from the last century where you print out your document, sign it, and then find a scanner to scan it into your system once again. The recipient of a digitally signed document uses the free Adobe Reader to open, if it's a PDF, to open the PDF and to see the signature, and it's automatically verified then by Adobe Reader. In the same way, Word is used to open and verify the signatures of a Word document that's been digitally signed. In both cases, the software, Adobe Reader or Word or Excel or other products, when they open the digitally signed document, you do not have to have any add-ins or extra software involved. The, build, the software, uh, such as Adobe Reader, includes built in the ability to understand and verify digital signatures. And that's part of the power of the open standards. Signing with CoSign is very easy. I'm showing a Windows application here where you can open the document in Windows and sign it by after positioning where you want your signature to appear. The result in this case is a signed PDF document. Can you use digital signatures? Absolutely. CoSign digital signatures pass all the different rules, regulations, and laws that govern signatures, including some very uh, difficult certifications that we've passed, such as the EU Common Criteria and also the FIPS certification. The bottom line is that you can use digital signatures comfortably with assurance that they have the full force of law behind them. So what is an open standard digital signature? First off, you want to understand that it's the most secure form of electronic signature. Second is that digital signatures provide what we call the three I's. They guarantee the identity of the signer or signers because the identification is embedded in the signed document. They confirm intent. This means that the signature cannot be repudiated. The signer cannot say, oh, I didn't sign that document or I didn't mean to sign it or anything like that. And finally, integrity. Once a document is signed, any change to the document invalidates the signatures. The cryptographic techniques of digital signatures ensures that it's impossible to change the document without the change being detected. The components of a digital signature are uh, the certificate itself, the digital ID, the private key associated with the certificate, and the public key. These are all put together to provide the features and benefits that I mentioned above. Digital signatures are vetted for security and consistency by different uh, national and international organizations. So you can be sure that they will uh, guarantee for you that the document has been signed. What does it look like to the end user? They see the graphical signature, what I'm showing on the right hand side here. In the first case, John Miller signed the document and the document uh, integrity was later confirmed by Word in this case, or in the other case, if something's been changed since the person signed the document, then Word or PDF Reader or whatever is the software automatically detects the change and notifies the recipient visually that the signature is no longer valid. Digital transformation, digital signatures are the next part of what I want to talk about here. SharePoint and other electronic content management systems, they provide the first part of digital transformation. You're filing the documents and organizing them with metadata, not just putting them together in folder names. And workflow tools enable you to manage your business processes. But you don't want to stop there. You want to bring it all the way to digital signatures, which is easy to do. And digital signatures will enable you to complete your digital transformation. Online documents from start to finish. No more printing out documents, signing them, scanning them back in, filing the scanned document, and so forth. The online document is the signed original document. Cosign has worked on SharePoint support for many years now. We have connectors for SharePoint on-prem and also for Office 365 SharePoint online. For on-prem, we fully support the workflow tools that are in popular use today, K2, Nintex, SharePoint Designer, and Visual Studio. 
it's very easy to add signing tasks, digital signature signing tasks, to any workflow built with these tools. The analysts agree, these are some quotes from Forrester, that enterprise architects should include e-signatures and digital signatures as part of your strategies and that there's no longer any issues and reasons not to do so. The result will be dramatic savings, a successful implementation, and no legal challenges. AIM has found that 81% of digital signature projects reach their return on investment in 12 months or less, and in fact 25% of the respondents in their survey said that their projects reached return on investment in three months or less, and those were all digital signature projects. BYOD, bring your own device, of course. You can sign on any device, anytime, anywhere. So I propose to you that digital signatures will be your most successful SharePoint project. You will end up with happy users, happy managers who can better understand their business processes through the use of workflow and statistics that come out of workflow. You will be happy if you're in the IT department or the IT people themselves will be happy, expanding quality adoption of SharePoint within the organization and the executives will be happy. The digital signature project will lead to a more agile organization and save money at the same time. This quotation of 300,000 per year is from one of our customers who said it was very easy to come up with this figure when under, once he understood what the costs were of maintaining room after room of paper documents that had to be kept on, that had to be kept filed and could later be moved to online documents once the digital signature project was implemented. Learn more and please sign up for a free trial of, of digital signatures with SharePoint. You get your own SharePoint site to try it out. And you can do all that at www.arx.com SharePoint. Thanks very much for your time.